start the right. It is better for you to put next to your bed mm. before you start the right. Now you start the watch it yet. Mm -hmm. So let's put the comments. Hi guys. Just wait for the other friends and we're gonna start the tour in Antalya. Just the one person now. It's going up but slowly. <laughs> Hi. In that time we can talk, where you from, have you been on Antalya before, you guys can tell me, while we're waiting for other friends. Hi Maria. Hi Annie. How's the toilet too, by the way? Okay. Yeah, sure. I'm just waiting for the tour. We're gonna start soon. For other friends. We're in city center now. Just around the city center. And... I'm gonna show you soon. Sun's going down. Okay. You're in Antalya? Looks like you're in Antalya. Come on guys <laughs> You living in Antalya logo? Really? Come here. I would like to show you around. Yeah, it sounds going down now and it's getting that bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. First, guys, I'm gonna show you the waterfall in uh, city center. The many tourists does not know about it. Let's go first of all for it. And I would like to tell you first the story. Uh, about this place the water coming from uh, Dudan waterfall here and um, they just repair it I mean restoration it uh, two years ago and now it's just like a natural beach in city center uh, from Istanbul by plane just one hour and by bus or by car if you like to come it takes around 10 and 10 hours probably but yeah probably nothing so we're going down now i'd like to show you the water coming from up there you cannot see it like when it is there but i will show you the waterfall it's kind of like a forest 
the walking. So I guess many tourists to come in Antalya, they don't know anything about this waterfall or about this place. Uh, because it's like a hiding place in Antalya and uh, people get scared to come downstairs. Some water started coming from here and I'm going to show you the big waterfall scene. And the story about this place, uh, they, they were calling it before Woman Canyon. Uh, but uh, in the history, when the people uh, doing some unfor uh, unforgivable like crime, like women or the men, southern men, uh, when they're doing something like that, they're putting uh, they're putting that person into gunny bag uh, with one cat, and they're throwing them under the sea to to death. Actually, they they're gonna kill them. They're doing the crime. They're charging like like they're charging them just like this. And waterfall here is kind of dark now. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see or not. Let me try to see. It's under the bridge actually. It's just under the bridge now. We have road upstairs. I'll like I'll try to show you guys but it just get the dark I guess. There's some small tool there. But I'm not sure that we can see. They probably they normally opening the light here. Around this time, but maybe this late, I don't know. But it's kind of scary, and that's why I guess um, the trees doesn't come in here. Uh, we continue. So, the canyon about this. In the past, they're throwing the people from here. I hope it's not true, it's like a um, like uh, some legends on the history they're bringing people here in the candy bank and throwing them to the sea and to kill them and also they're putting one cat inside the bank and um, the candy bank because they're believing that uh, the cat's also um, like a bad animal in the, in the past I don't know why but I really like cats and <laughs> I have cat actually So we continue. It's just the right time to travel now in Natalia because in the daytime it's really hot and humidity really high. So you cannot uh, walk to city center or any place. You will burn. Absolutely, I'm sure. I would like to show you Marina here. Uh, we will go out there much closer, but just want to show you that place first. Continue to Marina. Uh, we have also some cat house in Andalia, like this. Some and for some street cats, they are living here, and there's some person bring them food and water. Just trying to help them. Yeah, I'm gonna show you see much better view soon. How oh, it will not get out. Also, I'm traveling with my wife. To show you, she's following me now on the back. <laughs> we married uh, just beginning of this year. Uh, she's from Moscow. Uh, her name is Anna. So, you know. Oh. I just want to give you some advice, people. And if you come to Antalya, you should not swim in the uh, like 12 o'clock around afternoon. You should not swim. It's really a bad idea to swim in Antalya because humidity and really uh, it's getting hot in the daytime. Um, I'm 
Mirror Madness is straight up the road, which is called Vera. Let me show you that view again. View the bridge now, that we came from. So you guys came up, come down from that side. It's easy to come here and you can see much better view in the daytime. I've been in Antalya before. Let's talk about it till we walk to Marina. Guys, <laughs> So much on Capella, so my seat place before, uh, the place about uh, like an army place. Um, if you want to go there, you cannot go because you, need, you should work in the army. Uh, like you work with some of the villages. Uh, should work in army, otherwise he cannot go in. The people coming here like a commander, surgeons, to have some like Dina, um, some like, uh, like party and also some uh, they can use it like a hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's that. It's a little clear. <laughs> yeah. In Petersburg, it's clear. Yeah, normally in Antalya, it was getting dark like around 8.30. But now it started to get dark around 7, after 7. By the way, it's 7 o'clock now in Antalya. 7, 7 past 30. So now we're going to the center. Sometimes Turkish people can be loud. Uh, they're just speaking loud, so I just don't see it. We're going to the bridge now. But the one thing. Oh god, Antalya, they're starting the life uh, after night because that I told you, it's, you cannot walk in the daytime, it's really hot and the humidity is really high, you'll be just like bored after that time. Just a second, I need to put mask on. Getting the crowd. Uh, they are to build it. Let's show you again. Um, you guys must not use it now because of the virus. Big place, but too much to wait there for you and all the day. Many people using it. So this is all time. We will go in after that. Okay, no, but no, I'm just gonna show you after. In the summer, many trees coming to Antalya. I would like to show you this view. Second. This is a marina. Capacity of 100 uh, boats can we have it here, and it's really important place for Antalya. And 
they got so many re restoration in a couple of years to become like this and also we have some submarina there that you can see under the sea with, uh, with that it costs around 250 li lira last year and, and also we have one for the Skarko police office there let's continue it's getting crowded here now we have one tea cave here to watch the marina and the sunset on the turf both sides one here and also the other one there let's continue we are not using elevator now it's really the best idea for if you have child or if you uh, cannot walk all the way because um, the, the old town has some like um, hard hard way to walk to down and it's not easy for the person to have child or has problem with the walk so that persons can use the elevator much easier for them we're going we're going now to the like a square of Dantalia and looks like there's some activities now then are hearing the sound of music ice cream man <laughs> Yeah, if somebody knows that we have some cultural about the ice cream, they're playing with the ice cream and they are everywhere actually. You can see these guys and get ice cream from them. I guess. We're going now. We're going to city center now. I'm speaking loud. Everybody can hear me? Ah, we have water dance activities here. They're doing it some, some nights. To like a water dance, they're calling, with uh, music, the water dancing. It's the heart of Tantalia, the big square. And we have Ataturk here. I'm sure some of the, you guys heard it before. The big neighbor. I would like to show you a few minutes that. They're doing it some couple nights to show some activities to tourists while oh, they're coming here. I'm gonna show you one antique city tower here. Uh, we call it Yivli Tower, in, and it was built in ter, um, 1377. Uh, it's, uh, they're believing it, it's protecting three gra graves here. Uh, it is one of the first Islamic buildings in Antalya, also. Uh, it's built by Selçuk uh, from 13th century. It's in the old town. And you guys can see the clock tower. We're going there now, actually. All over there soon. <laughs> it's a long way. Let's walk.
Bye, we're walking. I can tell you guys I'm working in Corendon Airlines and we work in with Holland and Belgium, also Greece and Egypt. So we have many guys, but because of this virus now, we in slow, slow now, slow now. Uh, we're not having too much guests in this situation. But as I know, just uh, last week, we have around 4 million Russian guests just came from Russia and some other Germans also. They're coming. I'd love to come and tell you actually. We're going now clock tower. You know, the humidity is really high and you guys can get wet here too much. Just believe me. And by the way, I can tell you that in that time now, while we're walking, uh, what you can do in the old town, there's a couple of great things. One is the uh, that elevator to go easy to Marina, and the other one is Kalechi Marina. It has some um, cave around it, and you can just chill, drink, and also some restaurants to eat. And also I'm gonna show you some beach um, near the marina. Um, it's like a yeah, like an old town beach. And we have some Kechili Park. They call it in the Turkish name because uh, it's just like a cultural name. And Hudelik Tower, Karaliolu Park, Hadrian Gate, we will go now after Clock Tower. And Clock Tower also and some pub in Old Town and one museum that you can go in Old Town to see if you come to Antalya now we came to Clock Tower oh god that mask killing me <laughs> so it's the clock tower. Uh, it's height uh, 40 meters and it's built night uh, 1901. And the only thing is uh, the the bell of the clock tower changed it. The other uh, thing is uh, sorry, just the bell of the clock tower didn't change. The other everything is repaired. The, it's got it's got some restoration and it's 14 meters height. So. Uh, it has four clock by the way on it and it's showing just on the Turkish uh, Turkey time and this is the other entries also for Alta but I'm gonna show you guys the other entries in Hadrian Gate maybe we need to walk for it and uh, yeah this is the uh, close just uh, three shops in close city center but if you come here from other countries you guys should not come here and buy something because there are really touristic places and they are selling everything really high price and you should not buy anything in the city center they are really stealing your money If you want to buy something, you guys can go to shopping center, big shopping centers, because they're selling in the, uh, they should sell in the local price, because they're selling both of them, so they cannot sell something different, but they're really selling different. If you uh, come here, I mean, if you can, you can come here, they're selling uh, the local price, but if you come here, they're selling in real price. They have really good taste if you like to try. I'm going to the center. It's an umbrella street. There is some restaurants and uh, probably kebabs and the fish restaurants there. I just have around one hour to show you guys, that's why I'm not. I'm just showing everything like in a bit fast to show you other stuff also. Now 
now we're going to the Grand Gate, which is really so important for Antalya. Uh, in Turkish, we're calling it uh, Triple Gate, but in English, we call it the Tadran Gate. It's built by one Roman and, and um, while he came here after the 22 of century. There is many jewelry shops in Antalya, actually in Turkey. We love jewelry. Actually, I'm not, but Turkish love jewelry. Sister, it's kind of crowded now, even in the pandemic time. It's Turkish baklava. You guys maybe had it before. It's really so sweet and. Really? Uh, maybe I'm walking a bit fast, that's why. How is it now? Is it still bad? It is stopped. Uh, we have some problem with the connection. Looks like continue now. No. Better bit. Oh, we actually in city center. It should work much better. We almost come to the gates. come there just don't forget guys if you're gonna buy something in Antalya you should don't buy it in uh, city center it's really expensive here so here we go it's Hadrian gates in Turkish triple gates uh, the Roman Emperor Hadrian built it uh, and he visited the Antalya in the 130th century. So we're gonna enter now here to Old Town. Uh, it was the only one gate in the past to enter Old Town. But now we have a couple of entries also. The time by time, I guess. Uh, the antique city just disappeared from people, like always. So if you're coming to Antalya, and uh, if you're gonna visit the old town, you should wear some sport shoes. Uh, you should not come with some sandalet or some other stuff. It's really hard to walk in old town. So in old town, by the way, we have some life uh, like people like to come come here at night to hang out and uh, have fun here. We have some live music, some restaurants, some cave. This looks like every year it's getting restoration. That old houses coming from really old old time and they're restoration it. going now in old town by the way it's the more one of the most popular uh, place in Antalya and uh, local and the also trees uh, like to come here to hang out but especially at night that I told you because it's really really hot there's some many caves here around And in Old Town we have many old houses, adorable restaurants and some 
uh, shops about baggage touristic stuff and some that's actually we have here some old antique hotels that you can and stay it's really uh, in city center so if you want to see the city center you can stay here and stay at one of them uh, I was staying one of them uh, it is like a Antique hotel. It has many antique stuff inside. Probably I will show you that uh, hotel soon. Just from the entry, the one I'm going in, actually. That house is. They looks like really get too much restoration on it. There's some other cave. It's really dark now, but um, you guys can see they have really uh, some good uh, lighting here with the old houses. Uh, this is the one of uh, my favorite restaurant, Gazeta. Maybe you guys heard it before. And they're doing really good pizzas here in Old Town. And they're not really so expensive. You guys can come here and enjoy it. It's cozy, really. Hold connection. Um, by the way, in the same time, I'm checking the connection with my wife's phone. I just wanna be sure that everything is going good with the connection. This is some old stuff shops that you can find many, many old stuff here. stuff and some <laughs> so this is the hotel that I told you it has really some old antique stuff here as you can see inside maybe it's large, it's really old house. They didn't change any restoration here. Uh, everything is like becoming from an uh, old century. Now we're going to the tower. I would like to explain you. Uh, that main building on the back, it's a mosque. And It was uh, got fire in the past, and the top of the uh, place was destroyed, and they repaired it. It's just like last year, or they still restoration it actually. We cannot go in because it's like a, they're protecting now, and the restoration, everything inside. And it's also. Um, if you guys know, it's business, uh, business church. Uh, we call it uh, the Virgin Mary. They have some pictures here about the inside. We cannot go in now, but as you can see inside, is an old church, and there's still restoration. In. So now, now we're going to Cave Street. There's many, many cave pubs in Old Town. Uh, if you like to come here to hang out, there's really many good, good quality caves and you guys can have fun here. And also there's some Turkish pub that you can you can come and drink Turkish raki. It's like Turkish alcohol if, if you heard it before. Thank you. 
really? <laughs> I would like to wait for you, yeah. There's also many beautiful places in Antalya. But we have short time now and I just choose to show you guys city center. Uh, because it's much more close for me and also to show you in one how much easier. We have some live music here. Every night they're doing it. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> I'm locally here. If you guys come, I would like to show you around. And there is not only the place in Antalya, we have really hiding some place. And you guys can. Yeah, it's seven. <laughs> yeah. It's same like Moscow now, time. We have some restaurants, fish restaurants. This is Turkish pub. People come here to reach Tinraka. <laughs> you want to say hi? If you guys heard it before, the Turkish people really so friendly actually. And they really not looks like in the news. People are trying to help the trees. If they have some problem in the city center, you can go to some like small shops or some taxi driver to ask where to go and they'll help you, I'm sure. It's not like showing on the, on the news about Turkey. Uh, I have been in Moscow on last Christmas with my wife and it was really cold yeah for Antalya because in the winter in Ant Antalya just like getting uh, 15 degrees like maximum 15 degrees and it's not really cold for the person coming from Russia or the country they're saying like it's not really cold and if you guys saying it's cold it's <laughs> Nothing looks like for Russian sky and some other countries. So the last place we came for Hodelik Tower, uh, it's it's end of the um, end of the old time, and we have here one Karola Ali Park. Some restaurants. There are many many restaurants here. If you guys like to come and hang out, you can watch the sea and just have fun here. I'm gonna show you tower, but I'm, I would like to show you from the other side. It's they're doing some restoration now, and it's the place close, but I can go to some high place and show you much better view. What <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in the daytime, sometimes it's becoming like 50 degrees in Antalya, especially afternoon. And when it's 50 degrees, it's really like it's killing you. That's why I'm telling you guys, if you're coming to Antalya in the summer, don't go to swim. Afternoon, it's really, really hot and it's not good. And the humidity is really high. So this is the Hedelik Tower. They're doing some restoration now there the old old place and it's, it was built at first like a square of the ship and uh, in the same time in the same uh, century they built it square on the top of and the believing is uh, there is some mosque under under it uh, it was using it for protect the old time and then after this uh, now this century there, there's some public office uh, stuff using it for like a, some depot. They're saving this stuff there. And it's the sea, it's getting dark. Yeah, 50 degree. This is the biggest in Turkey. You guys can see from here. The speed walk. <laughs> Uh, just a second, yeah. It's the Actro Park. They built that stuff uh, last year. Uh, 
if you can use it, um, you can see all the city from there. It's really high, around like um, 16 floor or something like that. Russian spell? Yeah, we have uh, some Russian guests here. <laughs> like we have always. The Russian. No, do I have problem any for you? With the connection now. We're in the Karaoke Park now. We have here one Russian consular. If you guys have any problem, Russians, uh, they can come here and they just not working in the weekend and they're working from 10 to 5 every day. In the weekdays, they're working. It's the same work time like in Russia. So we in, we're going to now to some place to show you. This is my last place to show you today. Ice cream man can speak different languages. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Они могут you... говорить по-русски, могут говорить по-английски, могут говорить по-немецки. <laughs> yeah, they, they know many languages actually. They speak in French, Russian, German, and uh, Chinese, some of them. Because they need to work with the trees all the time in the summer, so they just learn all the language, looks like. It's the park in city center. This is a really good place to come at the night to chill. It's not so hot like other places. And also in the marina, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, you can take some boat tour. Uh, there is some tree office there. Uh, the last year there was uh, the boat was selling trips by themselves, and they were selling the tours like the money they want actually. They're selling to locals five lira, and they're calling. They selling the tour for tourist around 20 euro, of, like the 15 euro minimum. But now they opened some three, um, like a public office there, and they're selling in the same price for everybody. And it's 20 lira right now for 40 minutes tour. But if you like to take all day tour, it's around uh, 100 lira or 150 lira for all uh, all the day tour. And they taking you some to canyon to uh, swim there around two hours. Canon. <laughs> you guys playing that music? Is is the it's about the one uh, father and the son. Uh, the story about he lost his son and they put this stuff here. And this park put it um, on 2007, I guess. If I'm not wrong, it's 2007. They uh, get restoration before it was just like a forest and they just turn it in like a some park up here. There is some cave also you can come here and get chill in the daytime let's continue it's really get dark now this is the city that side can you see it's Konyalte uh, but it's really dark now Let's continue. A few more and it's gonna end. Antalya also some like a university city for we have one one of the big universities in Antalya. And the many students um, they're studying here. But but now with the pandemics and time they closed the university and other schools. Uh, so they, we don't have any education in Turkey now. Some of the uh, kids just getting education at home by online, and the others just waiting. This is the other secure of the park. Uh, it's really dark now. There's
has one hand, but you guys can see it or not. I don't know. Oh no, it's really, really dark. It's one hand about. We have one activities in uh, in Antalya. Uh, it's about um, they're giving gifts to some like actors uh, every year, but this year we're not doing it actually. And the hand about the protocol is mean orange. The hand holding the orange gift to the actors. That mean. So. Our tour gonna end now, guys. Let me show you myself. I'm really wet to walk all of this way. <laughs> Can you take it? <laughs> it's really, the humidity really high here. And if you use a mask in the summer, it's really, really hot to use it. Look at this, I'm wet. And no worries, I would like to show you guys if you come to Antalya, I would like to show you around. There's many other beautiful places, uh, some hiding waterfalls in around, around the city center. We have some cable cars, uh, 12 cable cars in Antalya. We have some river, uh, which is, we can do rafting if you like to come. And uh, we have a couple canyons in Antalya. There's some like one house to city center and the waterfalls and um, just like half an hour to city center all of them Pajalus <laughs> there and that's all if you guys have any question I can answer and I'm gonna end nice to meet you too if you like to come I would like to help you You guys have any question about Antalya, about tour? How's connection? It's good. <laughs> In the same time, I'm still checking the connection with my wife's phone. If something wrong, I'm just waiting for the fix. Okay, guys. So nice to meet you too. I hope you guys enjoy with my tour today and like I tell, told you I would like to show you Antalya if you guys come we're waiting for you here have a good night bye bye